No doubt you've heard about the new Hype ChatGPT. Uh, if not, it's a new tool from uh, OpenAI and that allows you to talk to the OpenAI uh, very quickly via a message interface. So you can basically talk about everything, uh, ideas for a 10-year-old's uh, birthday party, to quantum computing, to programming. And um, yeah, then it's going to be interesting. Uh, the tool can in fact program, not like a real developer, but like an AI. Um, and that means that there's a limit to the code you can generate, but at the same time, it really can help you uh, with development of, a, of software. So I want to show you very briefly what you can do with this tool. So let's say we ask the tool to create a class in Delphi like this. And as you can see, um, I've asked the system to create a class to manage a company. It'll create this complete class, uh, including the constructors, destructors, um, including even employees, um, as you can see, without me asking this specifically. Um, and it gives the results back as a complete class. So the beauty of uh, ChatGPT is that you can continue um, talking about this class. So let's say um, I want to know how I use this class. And here we can see that um, it gives suggestions on how to create this specific class, um, how to add and please. And of course, you have to uh, really have a look, close look in, into what it creates because after all, it is an AI, so it can give you the wrong results or an incorrect implementation. So it's always good to be careful. Um, but as you can see, it even suggests, for example, in this case, to uh, free this, uh, this class as well. So this is just an example on how to create a class. Uh, but you can also ask um, to implement, uh, let's say, an OPA, open AI API call. So create a class uh, in Delphi, of course, to use uh, the open AI API. As you can see, it'll it'll create a class uh, in this case with a T REST client um, to the implementation of the OpenAI API. Um, and it explains as well on how to use it. So you have to use the API key, let's say. Um, it gives the results back and you can use this class. It even, if I scroll down a bit, uh, it even suggests some examples on how to use it. So in this case, it gives the uh, the question, what's the capital of France? Uh, and it writes the response back. So as you can see, uh, it's quite easy to uh, get some results back of the chat API um, and create some, some really nice code as well. Uh, to go one step further, you can also add this, of course, to the Delphi IDE. Uh, which I've just done, so I can give you an example of that as well. So here I have an um, OpenAI uh, implementation. Unfortunately, not the, the chat API is not available yet uh, as a public API. So what I've done is connected to the default OpenAI uh, API uh, just to see if this will work. And once the chat API is available, of course, we'll implement this in here and we'll share the source code because it's really nice to have such a tool uh, within Delphi. So let's say I want to have this. Uh, um, I ask a class um, to manage the company with a name, phone and a list of employees. So if I press enter here, it'll query the um, OpenAI um, the API and it'll, it'll give back the results of the um, uh, the results of the API call and as you can see it created even a complete unit so I'll have to delete this of course 
uh, it creates again it creates a, a company in here in Delphi um, including the the references to the T employee in this case uh, so the next step would be of course to ask the same thing to the OpenAI uh, but then for the employees because it, it refers to uh, to this class uh, anyway this is just a small example and as a last example um, let's create a new file and ask uh, for a sort function uh, for a list of strings uh, so if we ask this um, I expect to get a, a function uh, which sorts uh, strings well in this case it's a custom sort with the simple compare text funny thing is if you do this multiple times sometimes you'll get different results uh, based on the um, uh, based on the same question so if I ask it again oh, there's an enter in here um, and now I get a completely different implementation so sometimes it can be useful to uh, to ask it multiple times so just one more uh, if I ask it again uh, I'll probably get a different answer again there you go um, anyway so would be good to um, hear your feedback on this uh, if you think it's useful uh, anyway thanks for watching